Now we have all three differentials built and ready to go, it's time to start placing them into their final housings, and we start with bag C, the front steering bulkhead assembly. You'll need both thread lock and black grease for this bag, so keep them handy, and let's get going by spilling out the contents of bag C. As with previous items, all sections of the buggy seem really nicely produced. The plastic gearbox is pretty much moulded to perfection, although let's see how nicely this thing bolts together. We start with the steering assembly. So with the Ackerman plate in hand, we insert the 6mm ball stud into one end. Take note that you'll have three ball studs in the package, this is the smaller of the three. With it securely in place, we move on to the two remaining 8mm ball studs, so proceed to load on four 8mm washers before inserting into one side of the plate and repeating the same process with the opposite side. With that prepared, we can move on to attaching the bell cranks. We'll be securing these with two 8mm button head screws. As with all builds, I like to give every screw a quick wipe in order to remove any machine oil during production, especially before using thread lock. Saying that, apply a small dab of thread lock to the two screws and we're ready to proceed. With a steering rack bushing in hand, drop on a small bearing and push up and through one side of the prepared plate. Now from the top, drop on another small bearing and then use one of the two prepared screws to secure the bell crank into place, just enough to start catching on the threads and holding everything nicely in position. Follow the same process on the opposite side, making sure the bell cranks are orientated correctly of course. With the screws in place we can now use a 5.5mm wrench to hold the steering rack bushing while we tighten down the above screws. We don't need to crank down super tight, just enough so everything is snug. After doing so, the bell cranks should be completely free from binding. Ok, so with the steering assembly now prepared, we can move on to the front bulkhead. Insert a bearing into the outer side of the bulkhead, before feeding the 16 tooth differential pinion gear through another bearing, and then through the bulkhead from the inside out. And with the differential coupler on the opposite side, insert a 4mm set screw and tighten down into place, with some thread lock applied here too of course, and ensuring you're hitting the flat side of the gear. Give the coupler a few turns, making sure everything is nice and free. Perfect. At this point we need to install the steering assembly that we've just built. We do this by using a 2mm hex driver to insert the two steering posts into the two sides of the bulkhead. We're only doing this to pre-thread the plastic here, so once in we remove both again. And now with the thread created, and with a bearing inserted into both sides of each bell crank, proceed to feed through the steering posts and screw back into the bulkhead in the same places. Now that the threads have already been created, they should go in as straight as possible. Ok, so steering assembly installed and moving nice and freely. If you have any binding here, you need to backtrack since it's very important that the steering assembly is free moving. When ready, we can now insert the front differential, so that's the one with the 15,000 weight oil. Begin by inserting a bearing on either side, after which it can drop into the bulkhead, and then covered with the top half of the bulkhead, and sealed into place with two 8mm button head screws. Note that you'll need to screw all the way in so they're nice and snug, and then back off each a quarter of a turn, an important step to avoid any binding issues later. Finally, turn the bulkhead over and apply some grease around the entire ring gear. You don't need to go crazy with the grease here, just a small amount going around the gear as it helps to reduce temperatures and makes the set last longer. At this point I like to slowly turn the diff coupler as well as the differential itself, just to get that grease spread around the ring gear and pinion and to check everything is turning nice and freely. We can then proceed to seal up the bulkhead by placing the final plastic piece on the bottom, and securing it into place using the two 6mm flathead screws, again taking care not to over tighten and strip out any threads. Bulkhead now sealed, and you can give the differential a faster turn, really making sure it's spinning nice and free. If it doesn't, then make sure you haven't over tightened the outer case screws. And with that, bag C is complete. 
All parts fit together with perfection, no problems at all. Next, we'll move on to bag D and the rear gearbox.